Alright everybody, what is going on? It's definitely been a minute. It's, uh, it's been, well it's been over 18 months since I had my gynecomastia surgery. What a journey. What a vlog series. And uh, to be honest guys, there's, there's like three, there's three main topics on my channel that I talk about and that I get the most messages and the most feedback about. One is obviously football at the moment, as well as rugby. That's two, but we'll call it one. Rugby slash football, sports. The second is marijuana and quitting, trying to quit over time. The third is definitely gynecomastia. This video, I owe you guys. Uh, this video is gonna be the last one in the series. I will do another one at, at two years, tw uh, 24 months, but this video is gonna be an update 18 months post gynecomastia surgery. So, I wanna give you guys a look. In the previous video, I did one at 12 months. We still had some discoloration. We still had some hard scar tissue under there. So I'm gonna show you what we look like now. It's not completely perfect. It never would be because of the, you know, the scar that was caused due to basically my stitches ripping through the fucking skin of the nipple, um, causing major damage. And uh, to be honest, guys, even 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 though that happened and this is one thing I want to get get through to you guys is that even though I went through pretty much the most terrible recovery you can with this surgery it was still worth it so with that being said I'm gonna give you guys a look and I mean I gotta say it don't look too fucking bad does it but what I have done in preparation for this video is I've probably lost about four kilograms I was sitting at about 95 definitely didn't have this kind of definition um, and and the chest shape was not like this you know six weeks ago I've gone and lost four kilos and what that's done is actually it shaped up my chest quite a lot um, the lean you are not only the better the result when you get the surgery but the better it's going to look in general a lot of people have come through my channel, through my gynecomastia vlogs, and tried to tell me that I didn't have gyno. And you know what, that's one of the most annoying things I can ever hear, but I just brush it off because I know I did. I know the result that I've got now, and I know that my chest did not look like that before the surgery. So look, I'll give you guys a bit of a, a, a close-up. And... Uh, you can make your own judgments. As you can see guys, you can actually see the little holes from the stitches. You know, from a distance, you really can't tell, but up close, I mean, that's what it looks like. The discoloration is pretty much gone, which I'm happy about. And basically, we've got a successful gynecomastia surgery. Now that's not straight up muscle, there is a little bit of fat there. If I was to get leaner and leaner, the shape would only just get better. And I guess that's what I've got to look forward to if I do want to continue getting leaner. But in preparation for this video, no shit. Um, I've actually gotten as lean as I need to. So here we are, 18 months on. Basically, not a lot has changed since the last video. Um, it's only gotten better. What I will say is that you will have scar tissue under there. You will have lumps and bumps that you didn't have before, but they will go away. This is soft. This is soft now. No bumps. No bumps, guys. If you want to see what it looks like from the side, that's that side. And that's that side. 18 months post gyno surgery. For anyone out there wondering if it's the right thing to do, if you went through life just like me, years and years and years of just not able to look in the mirror without looking at two particular things. Not your face, your fucking nipples. You don't have to go through life like that. Most, most other people will probably look at you and not even notice, but you notice, guys. You notice. I know what it's like, I know exactly what it's like. I went through, I went through school being called cone tits. 
Cone tits. Are you fucking for real? Does this look like cone tits? Not any fucking more, right? So guys, if you're thinking about it, but you're under 18, I'd say wait till you're 18 at least. It can go away on its own, if you're lucky. If you're not, most likely it's not going to, in which case, once you're 18, 20, 21, once you can afford it, I'd say go and look for a, a surgeon that you can trust, that has a lot of previous accounts that have actually had a successful surgery. I mean, there's, there's, no, there's no reason why you shouldn't demand to see previous results from your surgeon. I paid a total of three grand for my surgery. Three grand is cheap, clearly. Because I did it under a local anaesthetic. Not only that, I did it, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. I did it in the back of a pharmacy. Okay, in a, in a little doctor's office in the back of a pharmacy. It was dodgy. I'm not gonna fucking lie. And I'll tell you one thing before I go. You get what you pay for, okay? Now I'm not gonna throw my surgeon under the bus, but I, I, you know, you get what you pay for and that's all I'm gonna say. Three grand, far too cheap. You're looking at six grand at least. So with that being said, this is my update. 18 months post gynecomastia surgery. Good luck guys, you can do it. Peace out. Wow, yeah, swear to God I'm with it. I don't see nobody in my lane, it's quite go get it like me.